What's good, YouTube? Today, I will show you how to build a gaming PC without any experience. This is gonna be the ultimate, the easiest, the simplest, the easiest to um, follow. Pause this video and go get your parts and come back and play the video and build one with me. This might be the best day of my life if the computer does not break. Here are the parts. This was the last time I built a PC eight years ago. And as you can see, before I build it and plan out all the parts, I'd like to draw them out to finalize my decisions. And now for the new improved 2023 build. Oh yeah, drawn with a pen. There's the goat. First, we're gonna unbox our motherboard. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. While all the parts were coming in the mail, I watched hours of how to build PC tutorials. So, you know I know how to do this. Here is the motherboard. Cable ties and a lot of... <gasps> Sticker! How satisfying is that sound? Beautiful. Today, we're not gonna do the pencil trick. This is way too important for the pencil trick. I have got myself a knife today. Where's the knife? I wonder if this is the actual CPU or is just like those like fake things that they use for display. And inside is... Uh-oh. Risen. W. Riz. First one. We're gonna lift the latch. Woo. <gasps> there we go. There's a little golden triangle down at the bottom left. That golden triangle matches with the triangle in the socket. I don't know. Look at all the pins down there. And we're gonna drop it. In. Is that it? And then we're gonna put the lever down. We got some Corsair Vengeance. Oh, look at that. Well, this might be one of the most satisfying parts of the build. We're just gonna line up the notch wherever it is there. Push it down, and then you hear the click. Wow. Black. We'll install this one later after we install Windows so we don't mix up which. Um, which screwdriver it's a ratcheting screwdriver this will prevent you from getting arthritis ever in your life look at that my wrist doesn't do a single thing there's a little thermal pad underneath so we gotta peel that off when we install this Bink. it's right there oh wait it goes down there so i'm assuming these are the m.2 screws to end that two down and screw it in place. Zoom. And we screw it back. Next is our CPU cooler. When I was buying this, the person at the counter, he's like, this is one of the best coolers ever. Oh, you're gonna love this. What is crazy? Slides off. with its own thermal paste but we got our own right here already guys i used when i was repasting my graphics card we'll use this one and there's the bracket okay do these if you want these boom letter d like that boom screw it in boom next thing we're gonna do is try to unclip the fans there we go. This is gonna be so hard to clip on again. Ah. <clears throat> Just like that. It's gonna cover one ram stick. If I do the other way, the airflow will be going against the direction of the case. So I don't think I should do that. We have a little box. I smell the fresh factory. Ow! Oh, there's so much to read, I can't understand. Oh, it just pops up like that! 
What? What? Oh, soft rubber. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wall power connector. White cables. Power supply. Oh, zip ties. There it is. We gotta install the IO shield first. Five minutes later. Wait, there is no IO shield. I'm a boomer. Wow. Open up. <laughs> How much? Tell me when to stop, guys. Um, hey ma, can you look at this? Is that the size of a P? P. Yes, it's the size of a P. Peel it off. I'm gonna align it. I don't know if it's screwing in though. I don't feel it screwing in. Wait, there, I think I got it. Or maybe I did not get it. I got it. <laughs> Put it in here and latch it on. Beep. And. This is looks like um I don't know what it is. I think we need this. Yeah, okay. Now I'm lost. I don't know. Say it. I think it is common sense. This looks like the same thing. I don't know what this one is. These look important. I think we need that. This is the realist the realistic um approach to building the real Oh my gosh. I rerouted the CPU cooler fans to CPU fan and CPU OPT, and I'm assuming that means optional. I decided to not use the splitter to make it into one. The white cables make it look clean. Power supply, just uh, seeing what else I need. I think these are all the cables I need. Got the 24 pin right here, these two. I don't think you guys care. Put it in here. Then we're just gonna screw it in. This is gonna be the most annoying part because I don't know what things go in. We have 24 pin plugged in, USB 3. We got all these ones. Hopefully I plugged it in the right spots. CPU, um, this port in here, I don't know. I think you don't need to put anything in there. With that said, it's time to open the graphics card. All right. I'm just gonna admire this thing for a moment. We have to remove the back panels. All right, two panels removed. We're gonna flick open this. Take this out. Throw this thing. Press it. Boom. Okay. We wrap this through. Oh. Plug it in like this. And this one. Okay. And we got our arm. We can hand screw it in like this. Oh, it just locks together. Take the cover off. Wow. Let's plug these things in. Let's see if it works. I think we got everything plugged in. I switched the GPU to using two power cables. I looked up saying like one cable might not be enough. When I plug in the monitor and I don't know. This is uh, attempt number one. Click it. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. You're jumping in the mirror and I can see you. We detected a new processor, which will change. Ah, uh, jump scare! Relax, lady! Guys, this is what I got. I don't know what this means. I pressed Y, guys. I pressed Y. Yeah, it means just moving your... Red light. Yeah. Green light! Don't mind, don't mind. Come on. Orange light! What is... Red light! Green, white light! Green! Yeah! Yeah! There we go! Woohoo! First try! First try! I will set this up and I will do some cable management also. And I'll get back when it's all cleaned up and finalized. Let's <laughs> go! I updated BIOS, I installed Windows. Now I'm going to install my other SSDs. Oh. 
second SSD installed. Anti sag bracket speed run. And we take out the graphics card. Just gonna put it on just like that. Now we gotta install this back. Boom! Zip ties on cables, move the bracket to the side. That's the old PC. Now we're gonna attach our SSD and the arm drive. And uh, that's gonna be it. Let me know how I did. Got the SSD, got the hard drive in the cage or in the bay. This was too short to go here, so it goes there. At the end of the day, no one is gonna see these cables. Boom! What does that mean? Red light? Green light? White light? Green light? I think this button changes the colors of the lights. So let's see. Oh, there we go. We are, it's still working. And we got our drivers installed. Um, what else did I do? I mean, and we got our drivers installed, hard drives, SSDs formatted. I think it's time to put the front panel back in. Okay. Now we put the panel back on, screw the thing. Put the top panel back on. Screw it in with both hands while I'm holding the camera. And that is the build. Ladies and gentlemen, as you witnessed me build my first ever P PC since eight years without any experience because the first one was actually supposed to be built by me, but I only did one thing, which was install the RAM. And I thought the RAM was, uh... anyways, guys. Yeah. What am I saying? Say bye. Bye. Thank you for building me. Bye. Yes, sir. This is the final product. Oh, hey guys, it's me. You can even see the power supply and this like mesh panel right here. You know, ugly cables, but you know, no one's gonna be looking at this. And, you know, it's really only me, but like, even though, like, I'm not even gonna be looking at this like too much, like, you know, like, so, like, oh my god, this is really the start of a new story. Y'all, everything that happens from here on out all stems from this one decision of building this. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, good boy. The only thing I hope that you can get out this build is that it's at least better than the Verges.